I'm on the hunt to find sewing projects that are truly beginner friendly, and today we're gonna find out how easy this bandana really is to make. To start off, I cut out a large square and I sized mine 21 and a half inches all the way around. Honestly, this was the longest part of the process for me just because of how much fabric I had compared to the size of the cutting mat that I had. The next thing we're gonna do is flip over our fabric and fold over all of the edges. I am not a very precise person and I'm also working on that, so I would recommend to do about a quarter of an inch, but all of my folds are definitely bigger than that. We're gonna take it to our iron and give it a good press and then also fold over a second time and press that as well. I'm pretty sure my folds kept getting bigger and bigger, but honestly, it's, it's just a big square at the end of the day. So it's not, I don't think it's a big deal. And now it's time to sew what we just pressed. I sewed a quarter of an inch for myself. Really just make sure that you have both folds actually being sewed. It can be really easy to kind of miss the actual fold or for it to not be folded twice anymore. That happened to me. When you get to a corner, keep the needle in your fabric and just lift your presser foot up and twist your fabric to keep sewing again. And actually, that's pretty much it. And now we can turn our bandana into a little triangle by connecting two of the faraway corners to each other. And you can do so many things with this. I just stuck it on top of my head and wore it like a normal bandana where you tie both of the sides underneath your hair. As far as being beginner friendly, 10 out of 10, highly recommend if you're just practicing sewing and you can get a lot of cute stuff out of this project. 